So in our two rows down here, we've got a set of labels. Now, if we open the matrix, we can see what they are. We've got open and closed shots, open being shots that are not contested and closed being shots that are contested. So we want to count those labels in an output window. We want to count the open shots, the closed shots, and the percentage of open shots compared to all the shots combined. So the problem is though that the open and closed shots are in two different rows, but we'll figure that out. So clicking on our output window, uh, make sure your buttons are inactive, doesn't matter, but it's good to have it inactive anyway. And show output, which is very important. Now, insert example script, we're going to count the label in a row. So this one here, contain label in row, my row, so that's what we want. But we don't want to show it, because since it's in two different rows, we need to create two different variables and add them together. So variable one is going to be made open equals contains... We're going to count open where row equals Purdue made two. Now copy that, paste it. Instead of made open, we want to go missed open. I'm being very descriptive in my uh, variables for a reason. We'll get to that soon. And then we want to add our two variables together. So total equals made open plus missed open then we want to show that total and that's how we will get our output if we execute so we've only had eight open shots between our two rows now if we copy all of this and copy it into the close row we're just going to swap all the um, opens with closed and we're going to do that for a reason in the percentage um, and while I just do this it's good to uh, I'll just remind you guys to make sure that when you're scripting not to have capital letters where you're not supposed to have capital letters because um, it'll really mess uh, your scripting up and it'll corrupt all of it. It's also good to not have any spaces where you're not supposed to have spaces or commas or full stops where you're not supposed to have commas or full stops because it won't work otherwise. So now we've got all our closed shots and if we go execute we've had 22 um, closed shots so we've had 30 shots overall. So our percentage I'm guessing is not going to be very high but we'll see so for our percentage, what we want to do, the reason we made all these variables very descriptive is we're just going to copy that, come into here, paste it, and copy this. And uh, we want to paste that as well. So now we've got our all our variables already set up. So that means when we create a percentage, it's going to be a lot quicker. Instead of total for these made uh, for these open shots, we're going to go total open because we want to just add the open shots together, and we're going to have another total that we're going to call this one total to, uh, total for all the shots added together. So we're going to copy those, add those, and then we're going to add the closed shots as well. So made closed and missed closed. So now we've got our variables of the open shots, our variables of the closed shots, our open shots added together, and all the shots added together as well. So now when we create our percentage, it's going to be a lot easier to find what we need um, in terms of information and variables. So we're going to show round because we're going to have a rounded number. And we're going to have total... Oh, we're going to go triple brackets, sorry. Triple brackets because we have three equations in the one row. And we go total open. So we're going to have our open shots and we're going to divide those by the total amount of shots. So that's what we always wanted. We want to divide our open shots by the all the shots. So that's our first bracket. That's our first equation. We're going to times that by 100 for our second bracket and equation. Then we're going to round that off with just one decimal point. That's what the show round is for. We're rounding it to one decimal point. And we're going to add our percentage sign by quotation marks um, at the end there. So now when I go execute, we have 26.7. So 26.7% of our shots were open shots.